Okay, so I'm back. I chose this fabric to go on the spine for Janie's um, little uh, cover. And I'm thinking I'm going to put a little bit of this lace somewhere. Let's see, because I think I'll use that end. Put some there, maybe. So some of the flowers will be covered. I think I might have I wanted to put this somewhere. I might have that going across that way. Maybe that. Maybe like that. Yeah, and I'll have this. I'll flip that around. I'm going to have the edging going off the page and it will glue onto the thing. Um, but first I need to stitch everything on. So it's going to be like that. So I'm going to bring it down a bit. So let's put some pins in. And I'm thinking I'm just going to count the stitch at all. It's going to be good and that will go on yeah it's going to be really pretty okay so i'm just going to use this lovely thread and i won't do it all on camera i'll just show you i'm going to do rows upon rows of canthus stitching um use my milner's needle if i can thread it because the eye on these things are tiny I usually can. Oh, I usually thread it with the other one, not this one. I did it. Okay, so basically, I think I'll start in the center. Oops, no, I won't start in the center. I just came. I think I'll go down the edge. Excuse me. So down the edge. I'm just going to do running stitch rows of running stitch that's what canthus stitching is so if you've got a milner's needle i'm not going through i'm only going through a single layer here so it's pretty easy you just stack your needle up push your fabric onto the needle and pull it through then you must pull it back and, and flatten it so it would take me a while to do this um so that's why I won't do it all on camera. I'll just do one row and then start the second row so you can get an idea. But it is very effective. Oops. So you wiggle your needle up and down and um, with your other hand, push the fabric on the needle. So you can get many stitches in. And it's also makes you go a little bit straighter. I'll tell you what, it's something else not going through too many layers. I think these little extra bits just add a special touch even if I've made a simple cover it's made it's an extra special touch to the simple cover because I couldn't find a book cover the right size or they were too short or they were exaggeratedly too wide so um, I just decided to make one just a little bit like the envelope journal that I had made the cover with that was inspired by Angie Banna, Brahma, Banna. That I saw on, um, I think I saw her, that that um, one on Rhonda Pease, a little bit French, on her channel, her Happy Mail from Angie. Of course, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Mine did not end up looking like Angie's, but anyway, I, I you know, I did my own thing. <laughs> help myself 
but that's where the original inspiration came from. Oops, I don't want to start going too close to my previous row because otherwise I'll be here forever. But it, like when you're, one word of advice, when you're doing rows and rows of running stitch, the canter stitch or the border stitch or whatever you want to call it, um, it does go through a very ugly phase. Like when you've only got a couple of rows in, it does look very crooked. So, um, you know, you can see how crooked your stitches are. Some people might be perfect. Don't bother drawing them on, honestly. You don't need to do that. Um, but, um, <clears throat> I mean, if you really can't go straight for the, for the life of you, put a masking tape and run along the masking tape like you would if you were quilting. Um, yeah, they do. They You think, oh, gosh, this is terrible. I always do. Every single time I think, oh, they're terrible, terrible. I'm doing terrible stitches. They're so crooked. And um, and then once you start getting more rows, they just all blend in. It doesn't matter. You don't notice it. It doesn't jump out at your eye anymore. So you can see it does take a little bit of time to do. Normally, I would also possibly, if I had more, more, many more pieces um, on my pin down, I would actually, you know, tack them down first and then do my canter stitching. But I think there's only three there, so um, I think I'll be fine. Another option you could do is embroider in the flower. Um, that's another nice thing to do on these lovely florally sort of fabrics. We've done that before. Um, but I think I'm feeling like just doing, creating, because the canther stitching is quite textural. Once it's done, it's quite textural. So um, I'll just show you quickly a piece by my mum. It's actually a journal in progress. You can see this is all canther stitched. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, mum even leaves her tacking. I'll leave it in. Um, but I put it on a cover of a unattractive old book and um, and you can just see the effect of the simple canther stitching um, there on that piece. That was the back of it. I didn't show the front. So um, I probably won't finish that until I come back. I don't know. I don't know. Too many things going on. So, and I've gone a bit closer to my previous one. I'm going to end that thread off. And then I will continue right over to there. So it's just going to be rows and rows and rows and rows of the canther stitch or running stitch. So I think I'll finish that. And then I'll pause the video and I'll finish that. And then I will come back and we will finish off the cover of the book, of the little notebook, the envelope journal. And um, and then, and then um, I can fill the pockets. So I'll be back soon. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Rachel here, and I have finally... Um, oh, actually, I'm attaching this to the previous video. Um, I finally stitched this all together. I just want to show you how effective just the running stitch, canther stitch, is on a piece of fabric. It just makes it interesting. So what I want to do is glue it. I'll just put this down so I don't get glue everywhere. Um, onto the spine here. It's going to make it really pretty. So I have a little bit of PVA left. So what I need to do is, first I'm going to glue here. It's going to go right to the edge of the envelope. That's why I didn't bother straightening it out. Let's grab my spreader. And then I'm going to put it on the spine. It's always good to have something to wipe up excess glue. 
I wiped it. Oh, it's going to get on my mat anyway. I wanted to wipe it up so I didn't get it on my mat. Let's see how we go. Maybe I won't put it down. I may need to put some more glue. Yeah. Oh, just a sec. I'm too... I haven't stuck it on. I need to move it up a bit. It's because I'm not putting it down, so I'm having trouble positioning it. That's better. I'm going to have it overhanging quite a bit, and I will stick it down better. I just want to get my glue on this side. Oh, I love it. Okay. Oh, I didn't put it upside down. Okay, I've got a new one because this one's pretty empty. I've got a bigger one. Last me longer. And I have to cut these off because they get in the way. to put a bit of glue here and swoosh it around to glue the lace down if you can hear noise that's my husband cooking he's making lunch everybody around us here is sick I don't know if, it, if they've got the you know what which I don't think people are worrying about too much anymore um, or if they, it's a terrible flu that seems to be happening as well. So all of Lulu, no, well, Lulu's two bestie boos, they both have, a, well, one is getting better. She's, she's had a fever for the last few days, temperature. And the other one, he's still got it. So, um, and Lulu is feeling a sore throat. So we'll see how she goes. But I'm wondering whether it's flu, because he tested her friend, um, and, um, and he didn't have, well, it was negative, but who knows? But anyway, I don't, I don't know. It's fairly, just a bit like a flu now, evil flu, I would say. And my friend came pop by last night. She had it again. Um, but you know, obviously, she had it quite a while ago, so it was a different strain to what she's already had. So um, yeah, I'm think, gosh, I'm thinking I don't want to get it before I go away. Okay, so that is the spine of the cover done I'm still sort of procrastinating about what I'm going to do here I might put something florally on there I may need to print up some more florals but I love the spine and then I do need still need to decorate the cover so my next job is to put although I won't put my elastic actually I won't put my elastic in I'll just do the holes so you can see me do the holes but I won't put the elastic in because I would like um, it to dry so I need my big one this is the cropper dial and I've got to go in as far as I can here and you do two holes at each end so go in as far as you can do your first one kind of in the center I say kind of in the center because I don't measure anything and Got to poke out your little extra bit and then another one a bit further down towards the edge just cut those bits off okay and then let's see yes that's good and then you've got to you just kind of I haven't made you go blurry no um, I do kind of try to sort of eyeball where I'm going to line it up about there I think me thinks and press it I like to just poke these out because I want to see um, the hole where I'm putting it and then that one about there okay 
Right, then we get our eyelets. And then I will let this dry before I do anything else. But we get our eyelets. I think I'll use pink. Why not? I need four though. Can I even get those out? I could use brass. I don't think the brass ones are very nice to use. I could do yellow. Of course, I'll keep pulling out all the ones that are different colours. That's not a very good spot, that one. There we go, I got those ones. So we'll use that lighter pink. Okay. And put your first one in here. And it reinforces your... Um, you know the hole so the hole's not going to fall apart these are really good ones these are the we are memory keeper ones they're really good they squish really well and then oopsie here Oh, makes my hand tired. Okay, so that's done. And then I will do the elastic. Um, oh, I'm just going to wait a little bit because I don't want the elast to do the elastic right away. Good. Okay. And now, let me see. I can't even remember where I'm at with the journal because I haven't looked at it for a while. So that's good. Oh, and I didn't even realize I had the same fabric on the spine of it. So that's just perfect. That's going to slate sit in there, and that will be the journal. But where am I at with the journal? Who remembers? I don't remember. So, and I ne need to decorate the front, obviously. Um, have I put anything in there? No, I haven't. I don't know what kind of... Let's pull the tag basket down. Let's see what I've got in here that we've made. Let's see if I've got... Uh, you're getting low on stuff, so... Um, that's lovely. Put that one in there. Just a little journal card. And I'll probably put some sort of ephemera in there, in there as well. What was in here? There's a pocket in here. So I'll fill in as much as I can. Um, I remember doing those with the book pages. That's a I must revisit. The, oh, do I have another one of those left? You see, I don't. I need to revisit that. I'm going to take that out. I will put it back in, but I need to revisit that idea. So um, we will do that. I need a nice big one for there, and I probably don't have one done. What's this? Oh, that's lovely. What was this? Oh, isn't that a lovely collection of things? Would that fit in there? It will. Maybe we'll put that in there. We'll put it in this way so you can see. Let's see if it will... Oh, it might be hard to get in there because it's very long. It might be too long. Want to start filling it oh yes it does fit how about that that's cool so that's nice on that side but then i might slide a little something in there on that side just to um just so there's something pretty to look at hmm getting low on things isn't that pretty i might just slide that in there with an angel okay now, oh, pockets galore. <laughs> it's going to take me time to fill up this one. I don't have that many tags, actually. What have I got going on here? I've got some of these lovely things. It's just a little writing spot. We can tuck that in, but when it doesn't really go. What about this one? That's another writing spot. may have to get making guys I love that one let me put that in there and another bigger sort of one for that put this one in love that tag I've been hanging on to it for a while but look at that isn't that pretty okay window one 
and oh, we've got a spot there. Of course, I've got a spot there, don't I? Um, I want something bigger than that. I'm going to have to make something. I think what's this one? That one's got a pocket. That's cute. All these ideas. I don't know if this pocket's going to be deep enough for that. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, you know where that's going to go in here. Look, I'm going to put that in there. Cute. I like that. Like so. That's going in there. Um, oh, I love that one. Let's put that one in there. Will that fit? Yes. Okay. Good. Here is just that goes like that. I don't think I'll put anything in that, but I do have this lovely pocket here. Yep, so just going through things that I've already made. Um, that is a gorgeous envelope -y sort of thing. I, I might put a um, let's put an old page in there. Oh, let's put this in invoice in there. And onions onion paint skin paper how is that oh, so I'll fold I'm gonna have to do some tricky folding here to make it fit that's okay because it's kind of um, sort of grungy and, and ripping and falling apart so it'll be good for it to be folded so it's secure that's cute put that in there and I might put it with this isn't that sweet Put that on there. Now I'll put it on that way and just slide that in the envelope. If it fits, oh god, don't tell me I didn't fold it properly. I did. Let's put it in there. In you go. Go on. Do as you told. Good thing. Cute little envelope. I love those. That idea needs to be revisited. Um, so many ideas. And then this one is open like that. I don't know that I have have that with multiple pockets that is super pretty but that's not going to fit i don't know that i have too many big things i need to make some more with that's i love that one. Oh, oh that's the one i wrapped it around that's cute but then it needs tags in it well we can put um we put some of one each of these tags in i should have more of those where are they i love those tags that steph did I must have some more. Where are they? Oh my goodness, I'm so low on tags. Here's some more. And I back... Oh, I just put those on a bookend paper, I think. I love that. Do I have another one? I don't have another one of those. That needs to be revisited as well. But anyway, it's going to go in there. I may decide to add something else. I may not. That's that. And then there I still need to do something on those. Um, oh, here we can slide something in. See, some things I don't, I don't um, put in because I need to re revisit them. Oh, I love these. We put that one in there. That's one of those collage garden ones. And let's put another. Oh, it doesn't have, oh that's lovely. That doesn't have any. I need to decorate that up and that one. Two plain ones. I wanted another garden one. Do I have another garden one? Oh, isn't that cute? Put another garden one in there. Um, here I'll have probably have to make something for that. Yeah, I don't have anything there, so we'll do something for that. What have I got going on here? No. Oh, what about this one? That's going to... Oh, I love that. That's got the painting. I need to do some more painting. Love that. That's going to go in there. Absolutely. Actually, I love the colours with it too. Love it. Okay. And then here I need to put a tall tag, and I have no tall tags. I need to make a tall tag for that. Um, or tall journal card, whatever you want to call it. Here we need some sort of taggy situation. Uh, and Jamie, I think I'm going to give you this one. This was one of the ones that I did in my fast flow. I think that's the last one. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, and something big in there. I have a big journal card. Oh, I love that one. Put that in there, but I might add something else. That's just pretty. And put something in here. Let's see. I'll put 
I'd like to put this in. I love that. It's just the paper put on there. But it needs I need something else. I need to put something else in. I could put what about this? That's I did the stitching on there. I love that. Okay, Janie, I'm giving this to you. These are things that I've been hoarding for a really long time. But I don't always repeat things, so okay, that's gonna go and stay in there. I may clip something on there. I'm, I am going to revisit these areas um, where I'm putting things because something else may, may go in nice tall if I can find the opening here. I'm very excited to, to see how this all comes together. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to go and eat lunch and I will be back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm just going to finish going through here to see what else I can put in and then I will create the other stuff um, off camera and fill the pockets and um, and then it will be completed. So I've got to put something in there. Oh, that's not big enough. No, I need, I need to do some more making. Getting low because we've been doing Christmas. Okay, so that's that. And then... So what did I have here? Oh, they're the ones I had to decorate. That one I need to revisit. What does that look like in here? I might put it in the scrappy edge. That's good. And I need something for there. Okay. Um, so now it probably, it's not dry. But if I don't pull my elastic tight, I can start to put in excuse me i just pass um put in the elastic just so you can see that bit and then there probably won't be any more videos for this project oh i need to do the cover oh well i'll share i'll do that another day though i don't think i'm going to get that done today um let's just have a look i've got to go down that one so in that one and then back through this one down to the bottom one and then back in that one sometimes i have to think about it oops and that is your midori binding so you don't want them to cross over so in this one with the knot you could put something smaller in I'm just going to tie it loosely just because I want it to dry before I really do tie it. That's where the signature goes in this one. And then that's just, a, that's where you tie it. You could slip something small in there, but um, usually with this method, it is just a single signature. So I'm going to finish this, finish this off camera and maybe I'll share a photograph of the cover on um, Instagram. And because I need to get back into sharing on Instagram, I'm just going to put that in there. It's going to be... The thing I like about this cover is that it's soft. So um, I can, I could actually punch two eyelets there and just put um, a sari trim there to tie it, or I could put one and then wrap it around, which I think I prefer. I like to do that. Um, and so there is room to grow because it's soft and it just curves around the signature. So um, yeah, I'll finish decorating that and then um, I will share a photograph on Instagram. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye. Didn't turn you off.